One Piece. Considered by many to be the most iconic anime. The story of a long-limbed, loyal, stupid, and hungry muff in his journey to become the Pirate King. Joined by his seven dwarves, racist, titty, horny, child, horny, titty, and super. The adventures and tragedy that they all experience is unlike any story ever told. But there's one problem. It's too f long. Son, there's over a thousand episodes and a thousand chapters. What? What is that? I've tried to sit through the anime before and I couldn't do it. It's too slow. And that's coming from a Hunter Hunter fan. And with everyone telling me the manga is better anyway, I decided to sit down and read all of One Piece over the course of one week in one stream, just to see if I think it's still mid. And hey, if you like stuff like this and you want to see more of it, then please subscribe because we're trying to hit a million subs. <laughs> Now I can't lie, One Piece started off with a bang. We're talking action and death within the first few chapters. Bro said your life's at stake. And then he shot the in the dome, he killed him. What page, I'm on page 31. Oh my God. Oh, this got eaten. Damn, One Piece chapter one is crazy. Two died? That's so fast, that's, that's fast as hell. Can you believe that that sea monster just sat around for 10 years like, I can't wait till I see that little bitch in the hat. Before we get into it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raycon. Raycon is the everyday earbud. With so many features, you'd wonder if it was an earbud or sentient AI made to perfectly attach to your ear. With noise isolation to focus, touch controls to change music and volume freely, and even an awareness mode will allow you to hear who's talking smack when they think you're not listening. Personally, I use Raycons for just about everything from playing music while I work out to listening to meetings on Discord. But the biggest thing I've gotten out of these earbuds is on plane. I don't want to hear you snoring in my ear for two and a half hours. I want to listen to my own video. And not to mention the several colors these bad boys come in, so you can get one in your crush's favorite color. Ready to buy something small with a big impact? Click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash Tevin to get 15% off your first purchase. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. Right now, do you guys think that Zoro beats Luffy or Luffy beats Zoro? I'm going to become a power scaler. Call me Seth the programmer. But eventually it settles in on our main man, Luffy. How his dumbass got his powers and begins his epic saga of punching sea monsters and recruiting ethnocentric people into his pirate brigade. Oh, this is Buggy. They look like Buggy pirates. Look at this on the right. Sideshow Bob head ass boy. Zoro actually has the biggest chest size on the straw hats. Is there some weird porn that you guys be looking at? Oda's confirmed it. Okay. Oda confirmed buddy, Buggy can detach his dick. Why is he out here confirming weird sh like big titty Zoro and dickless Buggy? What's going on? You just stay in the cage. Oh my God, Zoro is carrying this whole fucking arc. It's just all Zoro. Who gives a f about Luffy. Now, One Piece is broken up into several sagas and arcs, but as far as the reading goes, there's a major shift between the pre-time skip and the post-time skip. The pre-time skip is where we meet everyone and establish the world around the One Piece. And with a thousand chapters, there's more world building than a Minecraft fan base SMP. This is cute. Damn! No, the dog, no! Bro, his only treasure, bro. Oh, and that dog's fucking crying and he still won't leave it. Bro, sounds sarcastic as hell. Really? I'm about to cry. Would you suck a titty with no nipple or areola? Absolutely. What What you mean? I'll suck a titty if, if it had a bomb attached to it. What if the nipple was a little dick though? I'm going in on it. A, a nipple is basically a little dick anyway. They both shoot a little white out of it when you suck on it for too long. Nipple, just a little dick. Obsequiously? Oh my God. That Hit her with a big word, obsequiously. If someone ever hits you with obsequiously, you better just turn and go the other way, bro. I'd start crying on the spot. I'd be like, how do you spell that? And some of these chapters hit harder than others. Now I was told there were some tear jerking moments, but Sanji's recruitment, boy. That man love his son, goddammit. Ah! I gotta shed some tears, bro. That's some real, that's real shit right there, bro. Yeah, for real. You, you read this shit, you're like, I wanna call my dad, bro. <laughs> They love that. They love that boy, man. Great chapter. Great chapter. Bro, Zoro is crazy. Bro, 
Zoro really is him, man. Oh no, he made Luffy black. Zoro's gonna kill him now. Oh shit, get out the way. The octopus knew Zoro's weakness, black people. With a lot of the background out of the way, I made my way to Arlong Park, which is considered by many to be the time that One Piece really hooks you in and makes you a fan. And well, I agree. That shit is pretty damn good. Nami a fucking loan shark. Arlong's a loan shark. How many of you guys also just realized that for the first time? You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's also where I became attached to my favorite character in the entire show, Richie the Lion. Richie! Yeah, 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 yeah! This is the best day of my life. Honestly, if this manga was about Richie, he would have already found the One Piece and made friends with everyone, but whatever, it's cool. And after that brief moment of happiness, One Piece hits this string of really sad stories. Was Oda like, okay during this time? Did he want to make me cry on like every chapter? No, seriously, Laboon's story into Chopper's story? What's next? A child called It joins the team, followed up by the boy in the striped pajamas? Oh, Luffy goes crazy with, with making friends, dog. How you gonna make the whale cry? This is terrible fucking music for this moment. Oh my god. It's ruining the entire moment. It's ruining the entire moment. I don't like One Piece. That's fine. I also am not the biggest fan of One I mean, I respect One Piece. I like One Piece. I would say I like One Piece, but it is not, I, I, I do believe it is overhyped at the moment through my hundred episodes and my, and my chapters of the manga. I would currently say it's overhyped, but I haven't gotten to the new shit yet, so. But Oda knew what the people wanted. And he dropped some bangers afterward to combat the sadness, like Alabasta, which was a big favorite of mine. And even one of my low key favorites of the pre-time skip, Jaya and Skypiea. What? I knew it. I knew he was gonna use this slur. Oda is problematic, no? Oda has used every offensive word in the book. He finna drop an N word crazy soon. I have another thousand to go. I actually have another 900 to go. So suck on that. Chapter 200! I'm making great time today. It took me 10 hours to get to 115 chapters. Now I'm almost 100 chapters into like six. Hope you guys are still enjoying it. I certainly am. Certainly having a great time. Alabasta, not as good as Arlong Park. I, I have to say it, unfortunately. Some great fights. Mr. One vs. Zoro is definitely my favorite so far, but Arlong Park still takes the cake so far. This is a raw panel. A man's dream never ends. Yeah, a lot of shit's coming together right now. That's a real n showing up right there. The strongest man in the world, the best pirate in the world, the biggest fucking baller in the world, big n swole n never fucking doubt this man, white beard. Better fucking recognize. That's a good ass panel right there. Oh, the god was the snake? That's crazy. We're getting close to the end of where I'm at and I'm starting not to remember things. Like I did not remember that the snake was the god. Ah, I love it. Yeah, that's a that's a great fucking ending. That story is impactful as a motherfucker, man. Swordless style? Oh, this just got it all, don't he? He's got it all. Sheesh. Sanji and Zoro are more fun to watch than Luffy right now. But then something weird happened. This arc I never expected showed up. It was weird and unexpected and oddly like racist for some reason. And I still kind of liked it. Oh my God. What the fuck is this? What is this? Why did no one say this? Why did no one tell me about this panel? The champions are blacks. The strength found in blacks is still a scientific mystery. And then, as if the emotional whiplash wasn't over, we go from that goofy uh, arc to the greatest One Piece arc to ever do it, Water 7. Oh my goodness, this arc was perfection. Ho! Oh! Ugh, super alert. fuck is going on oh shit that's nuts what the fuck is going on my favorite straw hat is uh zoro still sanji's this close though sanji is like this fucking close they're like neck and neck would you rather have a shipper daughter or power scaler son 
Fuck, I hate both of them so bad. Fuck. A power scaler son, I think. In order, I'd rather have a power scaler daughter, a power scaler son, a shipper daughter, and then a shipper son at the very bottom. I can't do it. I can't do pa I can't do shippers, dog. It's so fucking bad. Oh, here it is again. Fucking Robin made an agreement with evil people, thinking that evil people were gonna uphold the agreement, and then she did her part, and guess what? They didn't uphold the agreement. It happened again. Surprise to fucking prize. God damn, these two, these people are fucking stupid. What's worse is that Robin specifically just went through this with Crocodile. Swear to God. Crocodile did the exact same thing. Crocodile was like, nah, my you, you in this shit for life. Read, read. And after Water 7, Oda just went on a run, man. Every arc up until the time skip was just elite, bang, elite, banger, elite. Some of the best storytelling I've ever seen. Ah, uh, is this when he starts? Is this the transformation arc? That was a good ass chapter right there. Having your mom deny you and you don't know why. I can't think about Sanji's backstory without crying, dog. I can't do it. Robin has, Robin's a second for certain. Ah, oh, Choppers is up there too, fuck. To like never have your mom and then see your mom and then like you lose your mom again. Like I feel for, I feel for Robin. And then the one that accepts you, you end up killing him. I feel for Chopper on that one. But Sanji, to have a, I'm gonna start fucking crying. That old man didn't have to do shit. That old man could have ate him and he always took care of him and he never, it's Sanji. All right, it's Sanji. Imagine, imagine, fucking imagine that your grandpa is Garp, your brother is Ace, your fucking dad is Dragon, your whole family is just a fucking nightmare. This is a Nepo baby. He was born to be great. Goku got it out the mud. That's a that's a runt. Luffy was born to be God. He was born to be the fucking king of the pirates. This is the story about a, a, a that was born at the top and stayed there. <laughs> oh my God! The fucking whale in the whale never left. <laughs> yeah, he caught that shit. He caught that whole shit. He ate all that shit. Nah, he's tough for that. Oh, that's the panel. That's that fucking panel. That's like the most famous panel other than Chopper crying. What? That's his first line? Are we serious? Oh, Hancock's one of the warlords. That's cool. I didn't know that. Did she kick a cat? Oh, I hate this bit. I don't care. I don't care anything. I, I, I don't care. I don't care anything after this. Immediate L. God, you piss me off. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Luffy. Fuck he this bitch. Oh, he hockey they ass. Oh, shit. Conqueror's hockey. Let's go. Bon Clay. Let's fucking go. They thought he died, but he recovered faster. Jeez. This. Luffy is crazy. And he digested all that shit so fast. Oh my God. This is a dog. They broke out of prison. Bon Clay, this is raw. Ah! This is so cold, bro. I bet when this panel dropped, niggas was about to lose their fucking mind. I bet they lost their fucking mind because everyone thought it was Dragon. Oh, fucking Luffy's brother Ace is Dragon. They were probably like, boo, boo. They were probably like, Oda did it again. I cannot imagine what the forums were talking about on this shit. Oh, they said, fuck it. We going to war with Whitebeard? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crocodile immediately going after Whitebeard. Kind of raw. Except Luffy said, fuck all that, pussy. I love Luffy and Whitebeard. That feels like his other grandpa. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Sometimes, sometimes it's bigger than this pirate shit. Sometimes it's as simple as this shit right here. Now we about to find out why this motherfucker's the man. <laughs> 
flipped the island. He flipped the ocean. What are you going to do? Hey, real quick, if you wanna see more stuff like this and like challenge runs, like stuff I used to do, I have a second channel right here on the screen. It's called Tevin. I will link it in the description. You can also see it up there. And that's where you're gonna see a lot of my solo content. We're gonna be focusing a lot more on that instead of the main channel and drinking games over the next couple months. So if you wanna see more of me, you're gonna wanna subscribe over there and watch those videos because we're gonna slow down over here. All right, thanks, bye. Oh, and also uh, twitch.tv slash your butt Tevin if you wanna see stuff like this live. Okay, sorry, shilling over, goodbye. Brother and brother, okay. Ah, that's so fucking hard, look at that. Oh, don't do it, let it go. All right, I guess we have to, we gotta do this, huh? This never, ki this never kills any characters oda never ever kills characters and the the one fucking time he does also what a fucking guy oda is to put this fucking cover on this oh there's blackbeard punk bitch ass punk ass bitch oh he went and got all the evil n to be on his crew the one piece the one piece is real and then he fucking died so fucking real 267 sword wounds 152 bullet wounds 46 cannon wounds this is the hardest part this might be the hardest part of the whole show his fucking cape falls off in his back did not have a single injury his entire life this never once 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 got hit on his back oh shit not just he never run away he never ran away then never got hit on his back period fucking unreal i've been waiting for this I've been waiting for this. Who do you know is stopping Akainu's devil fruit ability with his fucking sword? My nigga, with his sword, my nigga, it's over. He showed up, he said, the war is over. They were like, okay, they're, they're like, if we gotta fight Shanks after we just fought Whitebeard, we're gonna lose. What? It's a third What in the fuck is going on? Look at Sabo cool ass. Sabo's cool as fuck. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Bro, Sabo went out on his little ship and they blew his ass up. That's fucking insane. What the fuck? Are you serious? Uh, listen, that's sad as fuck. But listen, I don't have any attachment to Sabo like that. Now, post time skip, we run into a pretty serious issue. Now, I don't know if Oda was tired of illustrating multiple pages or just like ran out of ink on his printer or whatever, but post time skip, while the story gets like way more interesting and focused on Luffy getting closer to the One Piece, it also gets full. And I mean whole page full of dialogue. I've read less in court debriefs and Greek philosophies than I have Oda time skip chapters. Completing just one Dressrosa arc chapter should qualify you for a degree in literature. There was no reason for this. No, Sanji, they were almost clear. He was tittied up, way too happy. I'm not gonna lie, if when I get held like that, facing the titties, they holding the back of your head, I know it's bleed too, bro. I don't know who my least favorite character out of everybody is. There hasn't been a single person that I've really like fucking hated. Like all the characters have made sense somewhat. I, I didn't like Arlong at all. Arlong was kind of a bitch. Yeah, any of the royal family, hate them, bro. Oh, I don't really like Akainu either, but he is strong as fuck. I like, I love Smoker. <laughs> Smoker hasn't won a single fight. I mean, just like Vegeta, but we can love him. Brown beard. Ah, they gave him a thumbs up. So fuck sad i love that even still though the arcs were amazing and ironically dress rosa was my favorite arc what the fuck is going on shit went from bad to worse they forgot they was in a war with big mom sabo got his powers luffy has his brother back ah! yes Yes! I'm fucking with that. Oh. This panel, this panel made everything worth it. Oh, finally, bro. I've been waiting for so long and he looks just fucking like them, dog. Is this finna do what I think he's gonna do? Oh!
Is he gonna slice the island up? Is he gonna fucking slice? Is he gonna do one of these? He about to do one of them head massage things. He's just doing this shit right here. I'm glad you're enjoying it because I'm only on Thriller Bark. Oh, okay, get out of here, Dragon Bane. Also, Thriller Bark kind of sucks. Sorry, it's the worst arc. <laughs> Uh, outside of Brooke, Brooke carries that whole arc on his back and everything else is really bad. Usopp became a god during Black History Month and we need to reverse it. We need to fix that. Black people are always looking up to the wrong people. <laughs> You've been real racist today, Tev. It's it's Zoro. Zoro's effect is wearing on me, bro. Zoro's turning me into a racist. I can't help it. Oh, they going now. This is just panels of straight fit, straight fucking fists. That's what we like to see. Easy to digest. These niggas hitting. I can read that. The all hands chapter. This might be my favorite chapter. All hands. Sabo! Oh, Sabo has his own moves now. Flame Dragon King. That's fire. Is this it? Is this the final blow? Oh, King Kong. You ain't stopping that. I mean, he fucking blew the whole island up with that. The cracked the sky. I'm not gonna lie, be feeling like Big Mom too. Whenever I want something to eat, it has to be that specific thing I wanna eat. Dude, some Moscato would hit right now. Nice little wine. Is she gonna eat her son? They're married? They have a baby? What is happening? What the fuck? The rabbit prince? Am I on acid? What's going on? Vin Smoke family. Oh, okay, Sanji? Who is Sanji? What's Sanji on? Where he from? Aw, oh, bro. Fucking kill her family. Kill his family, bro. Please. Please kill this family, dog. Dude, Sanji's backstory is even sadder. Oh my God. I already thought it was the saddest one. He just want to make his mama happy. And she's so nice. Sanji's backstory hurts, bro. This is suffering. You know what's really crazy about this chat? He didn't do this for Usopp. He just beat Usopp up. So I guess we know who's who, who who's needed and who's not. That's all there is to it. The Elsop agenda continues. Damn, this sees it all. Hey, this guy's fucking cool. This is the I know what this is. I just remembered. This is the that Luffy fight. This is cold as fuck. That is super omega elite super mega 100 percent 250 million percent cold if 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 what i'm thinking's right he might be top three characters for me he might end up in my top three yeah this is what i've been waiting for not only is he beating his ass he's using his own move and beating him up with it oh no nah, i would be so disrespected this is killing him this 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 gotta be the that this gotta be the last boss the final boss what? Okay. This is the realest man to have ever done it. He stabbed himself. Nobody has ever hurt this and then he stabbed himself and he showed his face. If Luffy can't beat him now, there ain't shit that this can do. Imagine reading through this part weekly. Uh, this was terrible. It's getting, it's getting really sloggy. It should have already been done with by now. Okay, finally. This can't lose. He, bro, he's immortal. <laughs> He still won. That was the ultimate attack. Oh, he, he got knocked out though. That's a dub, I guess. I'm not gonna lie. Watching this fight, he did not, Luffy did not win this fight, bro. He gave up. He, he met somebody that he trusts enough to beat Big Mom. And so he finally allowed himself to relax. 1.5 billion, holy shit. They finally, finally mentioned that. Oh my God. I've been waiting to hear about rocks for fucking ever. Holy shit. Now they finally said it, I can say it. I think Shanks is Rox's son. That was my theory this whole time. Blast breath. Damn! Oh, straight business. Okay. Getting right into the fight. That's awesome. I don't think he's winning. Okay, Luffy. Luffy that guy right now? Okay, okay. Nope. <laughs> Uh-oh, big mom pulling up. Oh, that's a fire. 
entire ass suit except his hair looks like shit and he was stealth black oh that's hard as fuck stealth black that's hard as fuck i do think that one piece is the most overhyped anime but it's very good it's the best anime have valid claims to it you can put this in the best anime tier i just think it's still the most overhyped like it deserves praise for how good the storytelling is the storytelling is easily the the, the, the strongest part of this it's just talked about so much to the point where it's like the expectation was so high for me that once i found out like what it is i was like oh this is just like a really good anime manga maybe if i didn't have the expectation of thinking that this was gonna blow me away in like 40 different ways that it would be a top five for me but i i don't think it'd be my favorite but it, it could it could go from a top 10 to a top five and i think the only anime or manga to ever make me cry this much is hunter hunter so you know it's funny to see that how how far they go for big mom but luffy didn't that they just saw deflect a punch and more or less they're like yeah let's give him some regular chains and shit wait what this was all a flashback i got ankle broke on that i thought that shit was in real time richie yeah fucking chapter 956 and you know who's still rocking with us big rich <laughs> four billion damn shanks is Oh, come on, man. Y'all can't tell me Shanks is not him, bro. She also has 4.3 billion. 4.6? They in that 4 billy group? Man, Shanks is up there. That's, that tells me everything I need to know. And hair, time for me to cook another Joy Boy theory. Joy Boy is the original. Okay, so you remember my One Piece theory? My original One Piece theory? Where I said it's the ability to go on adventures forever as reincarnations. I think Joy Boy was the original. I think he's the first Gold Roger. Whatever. I'll just I'll just let myself be pleasantly surprised. Do you guys know who Joy Boy is? The people who are caught up. Can you just say yes or no? Is it has it been revealed yet? You are worthless. Half of you say yes. Half of you say no. Oh my god. Every single time I can't get a regular fucking answer for 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 any fucking reason, bro. Well, it kind of depends. Yes. No. No. There's no way we would know. Fuck. Okay. This is the episode I watched that made me give up on one piece because i remember this episode was so fucking slow and so fucking boring this one panel made me give up i i was watching it and then i skipped ahead i was like is there anything worth watching it was bad it was all filler. I was like, please give me fucking something. I can tell you what's gonna happen. They're gonna see a bunch of big titty bitches with horns. Usopp's gonna hit them with some, with some sleep shit. Watch. These three panels here, all of this was one fucking episode. I swear. There it is. Tap a thousand chapters in one week. Oh my God. Oh, what? Oh, it's about to go down. Oh my God. Oh, this is Red Rock. I saw, I saw this animated. And fucking the spoilers were heavy with this shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm done with these. Now I can only read in shitty regular. Oh, this looks terrible. Oh my God. Oh, I gotta pay attention. Oh, this is very difficult. Two more chapters, chat! Two more chapters! And I'm done! Yeah, I like that. As long as I'm alive, I have infinite chances. So wait, we're caught up, am I caught up now? Or is it this chapter? That was last week's episode? All right, so I'm done? <laughs> uh, I don't wanna spoil the anime people. I don't wanna spoil the anime people. Ah. Ah. So, as I finished the final chapter, everyone immediately asked, "Was it worth it? Are you a fan of the series now? Is One Piece still mid to you?" And yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would give the story of One Piece I think when it's all said and done, it could it could be a ten out of ten. The sto yeah, the story is the strongest part of One Piece. It's I I think it's like a nine and a half or a ten out of ten for sure. The writing and the overall pacing is like a fucking five. <laughs> 
Uh, it takes, it takes, a, it, it took a, it took a grip. But I understand what people say when they're like, it's not long enough. Because the, the way that it's building up and everything's coming together, like I get it, I get it. It is long enough though. No, I don't think the series is mid anymore, but it is way too long. And I don't think it was worth it to sit down and read all of it in one go. Personally, if you like the series or if you have a lot of free time on your hands, go for it. But I wouldn't waste all my time. I would actually just wait until the series ends so you can catch up all at once. You don't have to be like me, waiting for every chapter now like a weird crack fiend. I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> I gotta eat and I gotta sleep. I haven't been outside in a week, chat. I have not seen the outside other than to get food. There are very few times where you really get pushed like to the end of your rope to really see what you're made of when you have like nothing left in the tank. And I think this was one of them. It's been an honor to join you One Piece fans. I finally get it. I'll see you later. Richie's still a goat, though.